Welcome to Club Wisdom 8. This is a mini video in order to guide beginners on what to do right at the beginning of the game. If you haven't re-rolled again, watch my re-roll videos, but after that, what you need to do, you can just watch this. And for heroes that are important, maybe you can use this tier list and you can also watch the YouTube videos I've put on the ranking. Thank you and all the best. At the beginning of Eternal Saga, everything feels so overwhelming. There are many things to do, like there are many things to click on. At the beginning, I recommend that you need to watch re-roll videos. You can type Club Wisdom 8 and re-rolls and you can see how it works. And your aim is for Mercedes. That's the basic, that's the basic way of going about it. Once you've done your re-rolls, you go to organize and you just make sure you have all the heroes from the right the strongest ones and you have them in here if you want you can buy a formation at the beginning you should buy a magic formation definitely and you will aim to have as many amazon magicians as possible you when you reroll you could also consider soldiers and consider having at least five lightning mages if you can and remember when you're re-rolling you're using the coupons again watch the video that I've put with the latest coupons once you have put everyone in here you just press the easiest way is press bulk equip you press this bulk equip button and any equipment you do have will go on them that's it the more equipment you have the longer the loading takes at the beginning leader doesn't matter it just matters that you have the four people the four with the best ultimates in in your slots so for instance here yes Kremhild would be a good one Panthera would be a good one Lavi is very good this healer because we need a strong healer and Shasha is actually very very good for AoE damage um, if you're not doing very well, you could also, if you do have a healer, you could also put in Aria if you need more healers. But generally speaking, make sure you have Mercedes there if you've re-rolled for her. Now, in one respect, this game is about getting as far as possible, clearing as many quests as you can. That's easier said than done. However, make your first goal to get to 15 quest 15 because along the way you're going to get free free heroes so I think that will be quite important for you to consider getting to then your second milestone would be to get to 19 because then you get your second research base your next milestone here it might become a bit harder but your next milestone is probably to get to around 26 to around 28 and here is where you're going to be farming quite often 26 can farm three teams so that would be three teams that would be 60 units make sure you do have 60 units by then um, the coupons will probably cover most of that remember look at the progress as well if you can do a place like six times or seven times take a look at what your reward is going to be so you're going to get gems money and scrolls so the gems are going to be important because that will help you do more rolls but remember only roll for heroes at the start do not roll for gear next your aim is to keep going and to get as far as you can and 32 is not enough your honestly your aim will be if you can get to 38 as your next castle it will still take might take a while if you're new to it and then you can have more research done 
once you get to 40 it will open up hard hard is going to be important so don't worry too much about how far you get to a normal it's got no function at all honestly don't waste your time get to hard and this is where you can do more farming a good place to farm on hard would be number four you could probably farm there but if, if there's no problem go to 11 and if there's no problem just keep it going so again on hard your aim is to eventually so this one isn't cleared but you're eventually on this you want to get to 40 once you get to 40 it opens up chaos as you can see here once you're in chaos maybe you can just try and get to quest 4 maybe quest 11 23 or 26 and just farm there and that will give you the best stones etc and other equipment that you need to really conquer the game so now what do you do to make your hero stronger get more heroes etc well first of all you could go to the eternal pass and you can look at what they ask you to do the pass missions are on the right and one thing is yes recruit heroes i've done my two draw gear i've done one so in order to in order to recruit heroes um yeah you can just go to the barracks now also you can participate in pvp which is the arena this is quite important and i'll show you how and as a result you're going to get these every day and in terms of the daily pass that you pay for yes it's good value most things in this game are not good value with regard to arena it will take you probably four to, i don't know maybe five six days to get into it what of course you're going to get beaten however that don't worry about that just go for it now this is okay for this cp value however what you're looking for as a newbie is to just get someone who hasn't set up their defense formation properly like this guy with this you could just press challenge you get five challenges per rank so this will really help you because at the end of every week you're going to get extra gems and certain a type of special cash that's only used for arena so you're going to be looking for that for this guy by himself for example let's say you're looking at a 3v3 maybe you only have like only 20 20 people on your team but maybe this is too much for you you get one free refresh per day on each on each event so let's see if i refresh will i be lucky enough to find that someone didn't set up their defense no I'm unlucky I, I'm I'm unlucky here but if you're lucky enough you're gonna what you're gonna find is that you're gonna have this situation where you just have one person who didn't know what to do and just left one hero so you might be lucky enough to pass a few arena events on that what about the faction so the faction arena you can only choose one type so this is for example Amazons this is for example elves who should you go for if you're a beginner and you're free to play just aim for amazon units perhaps or just go with your strongest units that you have at the time again quite quite powerful compared to this cp so let's see if i can refresh maybe i can get something good well i think if i push up my team i, I think if i change my attack maybe i can beat this one now defense formation see like this team this has no defense formation if you want to keep your rank higher so just get some kind of defense going um i believe for this one i'm going to use amazon so just throw in a bunch of amazon at least and then you have some defense formation there done okay so there boom boom, boom. this one won't work because there's no hero so what i can do is i have a um, I only have one actually main Amazon here, so team two cannot work. Either way, something got something here, so that's good. So we now have some kind of defense formation going. <clears throat> so that's Arena, and so even if you're a beginner, there's a chance you can beat it. I hope that helps. Now, never forget to watch the ads here. So you can watch the ads 10 times a day and you can get up to 200 gems. You can watch the ads here and you can get 30 shoes, so up to 300 shoes per day. So that's 
I think that's worth doing. Don't underestimate the ads. In the mailbox, every mm, Korean time, 12 o'clock p.m. and 6 o'clock p.m. In the mailbox, you will be given a certain amount of shoes. I think it's 120. You can capitalize on those shoes. At the beginning, you may have too many shoes, as you can see here. But later on, you will find shoes are very vital for the game. So collect as many as you can. Next, the shop. Every day you go into the shop, at least, at least as a minimum, what you could do is you can go, you can go to this event part and you can go to the riddle box and buy about, do three purchases per day at the beginning. Once you get loads of gold, you can maybe do four or five purchases per day. So this riddle box is important because the top prizes are hero select tickets where you can select any hero of your choice and the big one the legendary item select ticket which means you can select for example the life steel ring the life steel ring is super important if you reroll you might actually want that as well other points is um, yes there are skins but legendary um, gear drawer is a big one once you have like up to 50 of any of these um, top three item things you can then try and draw a legendary now if you want to guarantee you draw a legendary although it's still random you can pay 500 the chance of getting something is seven percent for me it's less so even if i do 500 worth of summons i don't normally get a legendary but still i like all the other gear i get anyway so it's up to you it's a gacha game Go, I'd gamble for it and do the 50s if I were you. 